Hey, what's up guys? My name is The Cherno. Welcome to another one of these Hazel Dev Vlogs engine development. So today I thought we would be answering a fairly important question. Ever since my channel has gotten a little bit more attention because of all of this like Unreal Engine and PS5 reaction videos, lots of new people have come in and understandably have no idea what is going on on this channel. And to be honest, I'm not sure I do, but I will try my best to answer a very common question, which is why am I building a game engine? Why in this day and age would I make a game engine. When there are so many good game engines already out there, there are so many large teams like Unity and Unreal building a massive technology base that is very mature and has a lot of talent and resources on it. Why would I, a solo developer who's 25 years old, attempt to make a game engine? And to be honest, it's a fair question. And it's one that I ask myself every day. No, I'm joking. For those of you who don't wanna watch this entire video, which I totally understand, I'll give you the, the short answer. The short answer is because I want to. I don't know why, but this is an answer that a lot of people don't get because I see a lot of questions asking me how I plan on making money with Hazel. And the first thing that goes through my head when I see a question like that is, why do I have to make money with Hazel? Why can't I just build this thing? Because I enjoy making game engines and I enjoy working on game engines. I like making game engines more than I like making games. At least the kind of software engineering side, the technical side of games, like that's fine. But the technical side of, of, of engines, like I love that. That's my favorite thing to work on. When I want more of like a creative, I guess, vibe, or when I'm feeling like I'm in a creative mood, that's when games interest me. Because games to me, it's like an interactive piece of art. I can make this whole like 3D or 2D world environment with characters and a story and, you know, ambience and music and a whole environment, a whole, like a whole world, you know, to explore and, 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 you know, make up a story. And there's this whole like creativity that comes with it that I, you know, I feel like an artist when I'm working on something like that. And I am interested in various forms of art and I don't just like software engineering and programming. I like making art, I like making music. There's a lot of stuff that I like doing and a game kind of brings all of that together, which is why I do really like the idea of working on games as well. But in terms of the technical side of me, I like engines, that's what I like. And that is why I'm building Hazel. Not because it's going to make me so much money and I can't wait to like sell it to some some you know investor or company who's willing to pay $20 million for it. Although if that happened, I probably would do it, let's be honest. It's not because I'm trying to get people to subscribe for like $5 a month and that's how they you know get access to, isn't that my Patreon? It's not because I'm trying to get people to pay royalties when they make a game with Hazel or anything like that. I think it would be fairly foolish to try and compete with Unity and Unreal. I mean, I'm not sure why, I'm not sure if anyone actually thinks that I'm trying to do that because I think that that's ridiculous. You know, if you look at Unity or Unreal, they have like a team of thousands, well, maybe hundreds of engineers working full time on like this technology base for 15 years, who most probably are a huge chunk of those engineers are way more talented and good at what they do than I am. And I'm going to, by myself, try and compete with that. That seems, that, that just seems mad. So step one, I'm building Hazel because I want to. Step two, I'm not building it to compete with Unity or Unreal. I'm showing myself building it on this YouTube channel as a means of education. I enjoy teaching people, I enjoy helping people, and I think that, you know, building a game engine from scratch, you know, something that's like cross-platform, cross-rendering API, whatever, and has like a set of tools and everything, that's not something that is taught very often. Like there are tons of videos on how to make games on YouTube and you know, a good chunk of them are good. But when it comes to building a game engine, I feel like this is something that is not as common and that's why I'm trying to help out in that area because I'm very interested in that area. And I think I can contribute something in that kind of, in terms of like educating people how to do that because I have a fair bit of ex of professional experience and also it's kind of one of my passions. So why not help people and teach that and also do what I love doing. And the final phase of this is because eventually I do wanna make a game with Hazel and publish it, you know, on something like Steam and sell it. So that's where the money-making side of Hazel might come in, I guess, 
but ultimately I want to make a game with Hazel eventually. This isn't something that I'm rushing to do whatsoever. It's not like, quick, let's make a game and release it on Steam and make some money. That's, if I was doing that, I'd just use Unity or Unreal. It's about making something from the ground up, working on something that I love, which is a game engine, and then eventually using that platform for its intended purpose, which is to create some kind of creative application out of it. And that's some, like I mentioned that I was working on a little game with my wife. That's, you know, at this, at this stage, it's just like, you know, ideas and we're just kind of learning what kind of art style we want. I mean, she's a fairly good artist, at least in my opinion, but she hasn't really had much experience with digital mediums. And when I say not much, I mean like literally none. So we're kind of learning about that together. We ultimately just want to make a game that tells a story and that is immersive, you know, with good ambience and good music that I'll write and stuff like that. And so that game like to us kind of is, you know, literally like a work of art, like an interactive work of art, which tells a story. And I mean, it's really early days now, like, you know, once there is something to show, then we might share more with you. But at the moment, it's it's super early days. But the point is, um, you know, eventually I do want to use Hazel to make a game. That's kind of my end term goal. I mean, even if I was not interested in games or art at all, I'd probably still want to do something like that. Because if you're building a platform upon which to make applications and games, it'd be a good idea to actually prove that it's capable of doing that by publishing a game. And so that is one of my, my one of my major goals with Hazel. So to summarize, I'm making a game engine because I want to. I'm making a game engine to teach other people how to make game engines because I think that that's an, it's a very useful skill that isn't taught very much. And I'm also making a game engine because I want to eventually make a game with it. So hopefully that sheds some light as to why I'm doing this incredibly difficult and potentially not worth it task with my life. Hopefully I'm doing the right thing. If you are also building a game engine, then I'd love to know why you're doing that. Leave a comment below and we can kind of have a cute little discussion with all the various people who are interested in building game engines and why they're doing that. Because, you know, I have my own reasons, but I'm also curious as to why you might be doing the same. I want to emphasize that even though I am I would say like my primary profession has been a programmer. I'm a, I'm a software engineer. Even though that is the case, I don't see myself as a programmer. I don't define myself as, hey, I'm Jan Chernikov. I'm a programmer. I, you know, I, as I mentioned, like, especially I think in the Why I Left EA video, which I'll link up there, I see myself as someone who's, it's not that I see myself. It's not like I think... Uh, I hate using the word see myself because the term see myself just picture, I, I picture myself just lying in bed being like, hmm, let's think about myself and who I am, which I don't do. But if I had to sit down here and define myself, as I said, it wouldn't be a programmer. It's I'm interested in a lot of different things. I'm building a platform that will enable me to be creative in the future. And that's like a side of me that I think that I don't share very much on the YouTube channel. I do have a little personal channel. I'll link it up there as well. Um, there's like one live stream on it. But in the future, I'm going to share myself like making music on that, you know, doing a live stream of me making music on that channel. And, you know, in the future, maybe I'll be, you know, streaming myself, make, making some art or something like that. You know, it's not all about programming for me. And I definitely don't see myself as just a programmer, which is why, you know, I think another huge reason that I'm building Hazel is because I have the technical skills and because I'm interested in the technical side of things. I guess I have a fairly rare opportunity potentially to build my own platform upon which I can then produce art. And I think that's really cool. It's really special. And I'm definitely really blessed to be in a, in a, in a position where I can just do this as my full-time job. And um, I definitely appreciate that. And I appreciate all the support from all of you lovely people. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, I know that this is like technically a game engine devlog. I don't really have too much to show at the moment. I'm kind of in the thick of like trying to rewrite a lot of the I am GUI UI code, specifically the way that Hazel uses I am GUI for its level editor, which is basically like, I mean, ultimately what I'm trying to do is just um, write a standardized way of creating UI components and widgets and all of that stuff for Hazelnut, which is a level editor in Hazel. And uh, I'm also refactoring like a lot of the ECS and trying to get it so that it's fairly easy to like create new entities, delete entities from the scene, make new scenes. Um, gonna start work on uh, how to serialize scenes into files as well so that we can like save and load scenes and do all of that stuff as well. And uh, yeah, just UI for like 
creating deleting entities and adding components and linking that up to scripts dynamically and doing all of that stuff. So that's a lot of backend work. There's not much to show in the UI. I think most of it's actually broken, but that's the update for the week. And I hope you guys enjoy these little Hazel devlogs. If you do, please don't forget to hit the like button and help support what I'm doing if you're interested in that by going to patreon.com forward slash the channel where you'll get access to weekly live streams as well as all the source code to Hazel Dev and all of that stuff. And, and you'll be supporting everything that I'm doing here on this channel. So a huge thank you to everyone who does that. I really do appreciate your support. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.